What's left of us? What's left of our lives? It's only you. It's only me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today we're going to be doing a styling tutorial on beachy waves or how I style my Whitney unit. So this is our Whitney unit from my collection. It's a 20 inch raw unit and we're going to be styling it today. So these are the products that you need. Basically just heat protectant, mousse, hairspray, and a wax stick. So you're going to start by putting your head on a canvas block. I like to use a canvas block because it's a lot easier to see what you're doing when you're styling, especially if you're a beginner. For heat protectant, we're going to be using the Design Me line. So I have both the heat protectant and the serum that I'm going to be applying to the hair. This is just going to protect it from the heat so you don't have any damage or any dryness of the hair and then also the serum does add a little bit of shine and it makes the ends nice and silky which is great especially for this style and you're going to want to make sure all of the hair strands are saturated with the product so that's why i'm combing it through and then we're going to go ahead and apply the gloss on top of it just so that the hair is a little bit moist when you apply it After you apply all your products, you're going to want to section out where you want your parts. So for this style, I'm going to do a middle part. You can do a side part. Um, I wouldn't do a free part just with this style because it looks a little wonky, but for this one, I'm going to do a middle part. This wig usually comes in a middle part, and since it does have the two money pieces, it just makes the most sense to do it like that so it can highlight the dye job. And then I do a slight styling. This is not like the full styling of the lace. We're going to do that at the end. But just to solidify the parts and get the hairs going in the direction that you want them. Now we're going to move on to layering the hair. This is optional, but I do like to do it just because it frames the face a lot better. And then with any style of curls, layering is going to make the curls pop a lot more and look so much nicer on your client or on yourself. So I'm just going to do some slight face framing layers here. So you're just dragging the scissors all the way down in the front. And I'm not doing any layers in the back, just in the front so we can have a little face framing moment. Now it's time to section out the hair. So we're going to do a section of about two to three tracks worth, depending on how thick your tracks are. Mine are slightly doubled, so it's about two to three for me. But if you need a little bit more, if you need a little bit less, then do what works for you. But just about this thick of a section will do. Once you have the hair sectioned out of the way, you're going to grab a piece of hair so you can get started with curling. You don't want it to be too thick, but also not too thin because if you do, it will take you forever. But if you do do it thinner, it will be a lot more curl variations because we're going to be switching direction. Now with the curling iron, you're going to open it and put the hair in between the opener and the iron and start twisting in the direction that it allows you to so if you do tw twist the other way it won't go that way it'll just fall out of the curler and you're gonna keep twisting and moving the hair down the shaft until you get to about three two to three inches of hair at the end and then you're going to slowly untwist while the hair is still in the barrel and then when you get to the end you're going to pull it down straight so you can have some straight ends 
So that's what's going to give it the beachy wave feel. And since this curl is not too tight, it's going to be more of a wave than a curl. And so let's see it again from this angle. So you're going to open up the bar barrel and slip the hair in between and then start curling and making sure the hair is not getting tangled or caught up in the curler. Take your time at first. If this is your first time doing it, try to use a lower heat setting so you don't burn the hair if you're going to be taking a longer time but just go slow and you can start over if you want to keep moving it down the hair and releasing the clamp a little bit so that you have some leeway to move it and then when you get to the end a little bit of space leave that there uncurl and then pull the ends straight Now for the opposite way, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to put it in going the other way. So this way I'm twisting away from the face on that side and the other way I was twisting towards it. So you're going to want to alternate those as you go. I like to do one and then skip to the next one and then skip to the next so that you have a nice fullness. And then when you get to the top, you can try to do it so it is framing the face. So going away from the face or all going towards the face, whichever one you prefer. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when you have different variations. So they're going to be going one way and going the other way. And also the ends are going to be straight. So when you do comb it out, it's going to have that nice beachy wave that's not too curly and just a nice little wave. Now onto the lace. I'm just going to apply a little bit of a wax stick and go ahead and hot comb that down just to get it super nice and flat before I curl it. And I also go in and take the back piece and cover the lace and make sure everything is flat before I start curling the front. And then like I was saying with the front, you can either go all facing away from the face so you're kind of framing the face or you can do like this. So one piece is going to be facing the opposite way and then the piece in the front will be facing away from the face so that that piece will frame the face and then the other piece will give it a little bit more dimension. I'm also pulling the curl a little bit further down than I did the rest of the head because it's at the top of the head. You want to maintain the flatness of the wig and you don't want it to be too curly at the top. Golden rubbers in these paper pockets On my waist as a black clock With a girl who the block now, once you're done all of your curls, you're going to take some type of mist or hairspray and you're going to fix up the lace. So I like to bump the edges a little bit so that it gives it a little bit of body right there. So you're just going to hold the flat iron or the flat comb back 
there and hold the back of it towards the hair so that it bumps it a little bit and then if it's too much you can go ahead and flatten it out like that or you can just leave it as is <laughs> So again, when you bump it, it just gives it that little volume. And also because mine has money pieces, which are those lighter pieces in the front, it gives them some room to shine. So you're just going to hold it there and then it's going to give you that bump and then you can fix it up or remove it and start again and fix and see where you want that bump to be to give you the best volume. Also, it'll keep it kind of out of your face if you're going to be wearing it. So it won't be just dropping down into your eyes. This is how it looks before it's all combed out. So you can leave it like this. I usually do leave it like this when I'm about to ship out a unit just so that the client can go ahead and comb it out by themselves so the curls can stay intact. But we are going to comb it out for this video. So I am going to use the Sebastian Shaper hairspray. I like this one because it's not too heavy, but it also keeps the hold for a decent amount of time, especially since this is straight hair. And then I'm going to use a wide tooth comb and comb it all out, and it'll give you that nice wave that you're seeing here. Once you finish combing it out and putting all the curls where you want it to be, you could even go in and fix some curls if you want to. That will be your completed style. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you figure out how to do your own beachy curls.